Hey guys, it's Sunny Webster here. I'm the founder of Big Friday Supplies. And I want to start off by thanking you very much for purchasing the Big Friday Supplies Send It Straps. Now in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use these straps correctly so that they last the best and explain what exercises you should be using straps for in your training. So, first of all, I'm going to explain how to use them. So how we design these straps is specifically so one strap goes on your left hand and one strap goes on your right. You'll see that on the inside of the straps. We've put left and right so you don't get confused. You need to make sure when you're putting the strap on that you put your hand through the back side of the strap, like so. And then from here, you're going to make sure that you pinch the straps together with your fingers and thumb, like so. And you'll always notice that the leading top edge of the strap is the one that's laying on top. We've stitched these straps to make it nice and easy for you to hold onto them, like so. Now, as you've got hold of the straps, what you're going to do is you're going to come down to the bar. Depending on whether you're using a clean grip or a deadlift grip or a snatch grip is going to decide where you start putting the strap on. So I'm going to first of all feed the strap underneath the bar like so. Grabbing it with the other hand, I'm going to pull down and you'll see how the strap rolls through the hand. Okay, and I'm going to take a nice grip on the strap. So it's nice and secure now around the back of the wrist and detaching me to the bar. You don't need to use a hook grip when you're using straps. The idea is that this helps you keep your arms relaxed there and obviously you're going to stay locked onto the bar. Now, what I like to do is make sure I've got it in a good position on the other hand first before I go to the other side of the bar. And then what you're going to do is again feet under the bar, loop back on the inside and then I use my thumb and the other hand to twist and feed the strap round like so. And then it will secure nice and tight to the bar. Next thing, make sure that your hands are equally spaced on the bar, so use the knurling on the bar to guide that, and then you're ready to go and pull away. Now, what I make sure I do whenever I'm using straps is give my arms a little shake so that I'm keeping them nice and relaxed. And should, in the event that I miss the lift or that I can't hold on to the bar, then all you need to do to get the straps off is let go and they'll release. It's important that you tie them this way so that they release nice and easy. Now, the exercises that I would be using straps for is anything like hang snatch, snatch pulls, snatch deadlift, clean deadlift of the sort. One thing that you have to remember is that you do not want to use straps for any clean exercises. If you're doing a clean with straps on and it's slightly out of place, it's very difficult when you're in a front rack position to let the strap unravel. So that's a warning, do not use these for any clean exercises, only your hang snatches, deadlifts, and any pulls. I really hope you enjoy using the Big Friday Supplies Send It Straps. A portion that you've paid for this strap is going to our charity, Lifting Dream Soweto, so I thank you for supporting that also. Don't forget to share with us you using your Send It Straps on your social media and tag at Big Friday Supplies in that and I'll be sure to share that on our story. Thank you again for being part of this brand and our journey. Take care.